welcome back to my channel my name's amy if you're new here today we're at the wickford charity shops and it started off well because the car park the machines are broken so it's free parking i'm going to finish all of my christmas shopping today i have said that multiple times but today is the day i've decided if i don't find anything here i'm gonna go to south Woodham, i think i'm not working to the afternoon so let's go in the chazers and finish my christmas shopping first stop st luke's hospice got a huge christmas section I don't really feel like I need Christmas like decorations. I just need um presents. But it is nice to see they've got lots of Christmas stuff. Love this festive jar, that's four pound fifty. So nice. This trifle bar looks amazing. That's five pounds. Love trifle. Always a great um, bag selection in here like this one um, 50 secret Santa girls please switch off because I'm going to show you my presents you gone? I'm thinking about getting this but I'm not sure it's a potential it is pretty so there was a necklace that I didn't mind but it didn't have like a proper clasp on it and I just know that would frustrate me if I couldn't make sure it's actually clasped so I left it Problem is, when you've got a £10 budget, but you want to be really careful about what you buy. But then, at the same time, you can't keep on passing things up. Last year, I think I ended up stuff that I just kept because I was like, bought too much. And then I worked out what I like best. And then, obviously, you can always gift to someone else. Just walking up now to the next one. There used to be so many more charity shops in Wickford, but they've shut down, which is very sad. Um, there used to be a carer's choice, but to be fair, I only found out like quite late. Um, but they closed down, and then the Sue Rider closed, but that just moved around the corner. And then the Bernardo's actually did shut down, so it's quite a shame, really, because this used to be a really good place to thrift. Good thing about Wickford is I tend to find more brick and shoes and accessories, which definitely isn't the norm in lots of charities up around here it's just um clothes but actually the Wickford ones are pretty good for a varied amount of stuff oh there's some sort of market going on so that is where the old Bernardo's was and also we have a big Sue rider which I'm hoping will have Ryan's last presents in it I don't know why I'm trying to feed in it let's go see not sure you want to buy a Second hand, which is really These frames are really cute. Loads of IKEA frames in pink, very Barbie. Now, two times are Helen Rollison. Looks like someone broke the door, which is not good. Um, lovely Christmas displays. I like this um, candle holder. It's really cool. It's got a wax melt, but I really want an electric one for a gift. Lots of toys though, as always, and books and puzzles, but not what I'm looking for. Wow, oh, that jacket's cool. Right, I've come to South Woodham. So Haven's here, there's a Farley here, and there's like, I think it might be the Air Ambulance or something, a smaller charity here as well. So let's see what we find. There's so many lights, I bet this looks amazing at night. In the day, less impactful, I'm not gonna lie, but it looks cute. First up is Havens. The leather mat here, yeah, that's really nice. 18 pounds. This Christmas jumper, very nice. I've got this book. And this, I feel like it's meant to be quite good. Good selection of books. This is so 2011. That'd be quite fun. So, I had disco charades. Sign out the song, that'd be really tricky. I'm just gonna double check that the thrifty girls have gone off this, and so has Ryan, although I don't think I'll ever watch a video. Um, more presents have been brought. I went to Havens, using staff discounts, I got some cheap bits. I got a set of bath bombs for my secret Santa, and then I got an oil. It's like a tea light -like burner um, that's for like essential oils. But I thought 
I got off a rhyme, but then I thought also he could swap out and use wax melts as well. So I'm get some wax melts. I think I've got some at home, which I can give him so he can either use. But we all that comes in as vanilla though, so I thought that's nice. Or I'll get him some wax melts that he can use. Now going over to Farley. So I've got now £2.60 left or something like that for £2.40 left from the Thrifty Secret Santa. And yeah, I'm done for Ryan now, I think. Unless I find some wax melts, I think I'm done. But Ryan's presence was just great. Um, unless I do find an essential oil, like the aromatherapy and the electric ones. If I find one of them, I'll get him that. And then the gift that I got, I can give to someone else. I like getting stuff I can give multiple people. So then if I find a better thing, I can just give that. I always have a box of presents under my bed, but I can just give out to people. So let's go and follow. He also take the gift card now, which is brilliant. But I don't really like spending my gift cards on the presents. Even though it would save me money. It just feels that wrong to do that. Star Wars Christmas shirt, anybody? Resident Citizen Yes. Yeah. I like this bag. I wonder if you don't get it. But I put it back in my vest. It's not my thrifting wish list. So I don't need it. It's to bake on getting that bag from the Secret Santa box. It's six pounds seventy five, so I'd have to get rid of some things I've already got her. Very cool red dress. I put the bag back. I don't think I need it. There's some nice pieces. Clothes wise, what's this? Nice black velvet set. This jacket is cool. That's really cool. And it's very cozy. It's very Lucy Jane. And look at these boots. Oh my gosh. I break an ankle just looking at them. Okay, I'm 60p over budget for Secret Hunter, but I have got some little bits which I can take out. Watch get me back on budget. Or I might just be 60p over budget because why the hell not? Um, but that's Secret Hunter done now. I'm so, I'm so glad about that. Shot two bits. I was like, oh yeah, that's perfect. So I've got them. So I'm basically done, guys. I feel like I've done well here. You know St John's ambulance. I was right, I knew it was some sort of ambulance thing. These are cash only in here, so I've actually never bought anything for I think because I've always not had cash on me. I made sure to save about a tenner to spend in here if I need to. And um, let's go in. Got a 50p clearance rail outside. Have a little rummage through this before I go in. Oh, that's a nice jacket. Oh, the temptation. Do you Ryan? No. Not sure it's his thing. It is cool. So many nice jackets. Do I buy the jackets and put the jackets on the vintage? That's pretty cool. Cool top. No, I can't buy anything to resell. I've got my vintage cobble soul. This is very nice. Fully beaded. For this shop also has an upstairs, so don't forget to come up. That dress is amazing. Ah. This bag's so cute. I really want something plaid as well, like an accessory, but that bag's just not in the right shape. To me, this bag's cool. That is four pounds. Got loads of shoes as well. I quite like these. I wish they were red. If they were red, I'd probably buy them, but they're purple, so I'm gonna leave them. But these are also really cute. They're too big. Right, everybody, I'm high. So I thought I'd show you what I got from this house today. Oh my god, it's so cold in here. The heating's not on, that is why. Um, but yeah, first thing I got is this like, fake Dyson air wrap. Um, this is for myself, so it's got a couple of attachments. Is there this person's hair on it? I'm not gonna lie, there is. I don't really care. You've got this one, you've got this one, hopefully it'll like dry my hair straight if I used. You've got the curling barrel that's falling off. What else? You've got the drying attachment. Obviously, I don't know if this even works. I mean, I'd like to think they tested it before they put it on the shop floor. Um, oh, there's something else in here as well. A longer barrel. Should we, should we plug it in? Shall we see if she works? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let's see if I've just spent ten pounds. Oh, it's been tested. It's got the sticker on the. Uh... Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. 
let's see first use of my fake glass and air wrap oh okay right I've got it my hair's not wet obviously let's get a section and just how do you do this Hey Carl, with some practice. I felt that could work. Anyway, not gonna lie, she smells a bit burny, but alas, I think it's just like dusty smell. How like all hair tongs smell when you get them from the trousers. But for a tenner, I feel like this could be fun. Don't know where the curl's gone. Um, I think it could be fun, and I'm excited to play around with it. Um, I don't really ever blow dry my hair. That feels hot. Hannah said I text Hannah and told her what I got, and she's like. Obviously, the Dyson ones are made so they don't damage your hair. Whereas these fake ones are probably not built like that. But um, I never put heat on my hair. Like, I'm very much a, a hair up, natural hair girl. Um, and actually, I've been using a different shampoo and conditioner. And I really feel like it's helped me feel okay. Like, this is just my natural hair. Like, just dried. Um... And then I've had it in plaits a couple of days. So, like, I'm really happy with just my natural hair now. I think where it's got that length to it, I actually really don't mind going out with natural hair, which I never would have done before. Um, but it's nice to have that sort of tongue. And I don't mind if I have a little bit of damage to my hair because I very rarely um, do anything. Anyway, next things I got with presents. First off is for my Secret Santa. This is £1.50. And it's literally a wax melter, but in its original box. And I just feel like this would have been probably a lot more than £1.50. I was kind of scared when she was putting it through, thinking, is she going to charge me more for this? Because, like, this is too cheap. But it's really, really pretty. It's grey. It's got hearts on. And I just feel like that's a really nice present. I am going to try and get the lid on now because she couldn't get the lid on. And I want to close the box. Anyone else hate that sound? Right, we're all good. The lid has gone on, which is amazing. So that's a really nice gift. And to go with that £1.50 wax melt heart, I got some £1.50 wax melts. So these are some rose scented wax melts. Not that they kind of smell like a charity shop. They smell a bit dusky and old and I kind of love it. Um, they were £1.50, originally £1.99. They've got their original sticker on, but it's a free quid for that set. I think it's really, really nice. The next stuff I got from Haven, so I did get my discount on this. So this was meant to be £4, but I paid around £2.50 for both these things. Um, so it is this gorgeous little Asda set. The sticker is on the wrong way around, which I feel like maybe why someone donated it. Oh, I'm going to see if I can, I might swap it around so it actually makes sense. But basically, you've got a wax melter, an oil burner, tea lights, and then a vanilla oil. Um got this for ryan because he loves a candle he loves like having nice scents in his room and i just feel like that's really nice and obviously you can use the essential oils but he could also just chuck some wax melts in there i thought like that's a really nice fun little gift like £2.50 i thought like that looks really nice and then for my secret santa this finishes off my secret santa shopping i got some bayless and harding um bath bombs because my secret santa loves a bath so these were three pounds but obviously i got my discount on that so it was slightly less um and yeah that's all i picked up from the charity shop today but i feel like i've done really well and i do feel like i've finished my christmas shopping now like all the bit like the bulk of the things are done i'll end up buying little bits and bobs here and there i'm sure because i'm a sucker for buying extra presents and spending all my money on christmas presents but I'm going to make some lunch now and get ready for work later. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment if you'd buy your present secondhand. And if not, join us. Come buy secondhand gifts. They're the best. And subscribe if you're not ready. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.